Aquarius, we're doing a bonus reading for you for August 2023. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself not resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, love your support. Now there is a competition running again this month, so if you want to go into the draw to win the Sacred Power Oracle, beautiful deck by Anna Stark, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below that you want to win this deck, you'll go into the draw. There's also a personal reading up for grabs, so uh, a 45-minute pre-recorded personal reading with me. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, let me know in the comments down below you want to win that reading, you'll go into the draw. Very quick announcement, I have reopened the Ascended Masters Global Lightworker Community Group. So it's for lightworkers, those of you wanting to be a lightworker. It is a private Facebook group. It is there to help support you on your path, for us to share information, advice with each other, to collaborate together and to try and make a difference in this world in terms of our healing abilities, uh, raising the love and light on this planet, doing what we can for Mother Earth and for humanity. So if you want to learn more about that, to get involved, uh, all you need to do is uh, check out the link on here and down below um, and it will lead you straight to that Facebook group. All right, my loves, let's dive in. So we're going to pull you a central energy from the Heart and Soul Oracle. And let's see what you need to know, Aquarius. And this wants to come out. It's kind of like a half moon here, but all these trees stretching up towards it with love hearts. Oh, it says, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes and your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help create a brighter future because every thought is a seed and if you plant weeds, you can't expect to harvest beautiful flowers. So very much watch your self-talk, like particularly watch any negative self-talk, watch your emotions, yeah. All right, let's have a look at your spiritual guidance. you got two here. Oh, this is gorgeous. You've got the diamond star, which is all about your destiny. It says, I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. So your abundance flows are tied to products and services of giving yourself to others in terms of helping others on their path in some way, whether that's in a traditional business, whether that's in your career. Uh, you've also got the Aquamarine Star, which is trusting your intuition with confidence, yeah, trusting yourself. Oh, you've also pulled the shining star, which is getting your glow up on. Mm -hmm. She's bathed in gold in front of the mirror. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. So stepping into the light, fully embracing your authenticity, your individuality, your gifts, your talents, putting them out there to the world. Oh, I love this. You've also pulled the temple, which is all about home. I no longer look outside of self for home. Um, so very comfortable within self. So whenever we get this message, it's pretty much like home is wherever you are. So if you're feeling peaceful within and it's about, you know, cultivating that sense of inner peace and harmony and balance, not putting too much pressure on yourself about materialistic things. All right, let's have a look at four key areas of focus for you with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. You've got illumination. Now it's about your life path, your destiny. So possibly getting very clear about the next steps on your path, what you want to do, what you want to create. You've also got a standstill here. So there's an egret in a very still lake. So wherever there's obstacles in your path or you're feeling a little bit blocked in any way, it's about not trying to push through those obstacles, about figuring out a way to go around them. Yeah. And you've got wish fulfillment coming in. I've got to say a lot of your wish fulfillment, because right, Pete, just directly to have about how you're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis within self. Oh, and the ability to manifest miracles right now. Well, there is a miracle coming. Let's add this up with some crystals. All right, let's put some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at your destiny and getting illumination around it. Oh, Spirit's calling for you to rely on your strength at this time. 
particularly in going after your goals, your dreams, things you want to create. Oh, there's a little bit of indecision going on. Do I go left? Do I go right? So possibly lots of options to choose from. Clear guidance, please. Oh, you got the journey card. So journey of transformation. Some of you may want to travel. Guidance on this indecision. Because I feel like this message is kind of separate to what's coming out here. You've got the magician in the mirror, so it's up to you, Aquarius, always is, on which path you want to take. You know, when we come to a fork in the road, it's very much about, well, what do we intuitively feel is right for us? All right, let's have a look at your trust and your intuition. You've got the daughter spirit opening. So spirit's watching over you no matter what path you take. Trying to help you with your path. Uh, you've got blossoming abundance here. So if you've been working on things and it's not quite showing results right now, don't take that as a sign of failure. You know, whenever we're trying to create something, it often takes a lot longer than what we think it will. And I love this beautiful analogy that you, you can't build a house without the walls and the floors being built first. Firstly, the floors and then the walls, right, before the roof goes on. So the abundance doesn't come in until you've done quite a bit of work to cultivate it. And you've got the door to personal healing and happiness opening, which is very beautiful. Uh, for some of you, it's about following your passions. For others, you may want to go on some sort of retreat or holiday, even if it's just for a week, that's going to be a healing journey for you because it's sitting underneath that. Let's have a look at you stepping into the light, moving around obstacles in your path. Okay, some of you are recovering from a broken heart. So you may have lost someone physically from this world. Yeah, it's creating anxiety in your life, something disappointing that's happened. Pretty sure that came out in your mid-month for August. Hmm. And you've got man holding a coin here. So, guys, it could have been in relation to your coin or there is a man with a coin coming into your life. You're sitting under the door to personal healing and happiness. Let's have a look at this broken heart. Mm, Spirit saying trust your intuition and what that relates to that's sitting in the heart chakra. Oh, and trust your intuition. around you, What are you feeling anxious about? So you know within yourself what's bothering you. Mm -hmm. Any other guidance on that? Oh, Spirit's saying there will be this big positive shift in energy, the sun coming out, so things are going to turn around. All right, let's have a look at you no longer looking outside of self for home. Miracles trying to come in, wish fulfillment. So many doors are going to open for you, so many opportunities. Oh, you've got love trying to come in, the angel of love if you're looking for love. You've got community here. So some of you building a community or connecting with your friendships would be really good for you at this time. There's a contract coming in. So if you're waiting on something, it's coming in. And you've got these beautiful caring connections either in your life or coming in. Mm -hmm. Could be someone in your community that regularly says hello to you and you're just really not getting the fact that they're into you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sitting on the community. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, oh, Spirit's saying you just got to love and appreciate yourself and live in the present moment, yeah? Don't future pace yourself too much. Don't recycle through old things that have been hurtful. All right, let's put some guidance with the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at the top row, which is all about your destiny. Oh, absolute confirmation. You've got a true love coming in. Love of a lifetime. You got Sedna infinite supply. So spirit saying your material needs, your emotional needs are going to be met for today and all of you tomorrow as you're divinely protected. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at your trust and your intuition, your abundance happening, but slowly. Door to personal healing and happiness opening. Oh, you got your independence here. So embrace that independent side of self. It's a key part of your character, your nature. Oh, you got boundaries here. So 
Uh, there's a need for you to set healthy boundaries with others, Aquarius, so that you can concentrate on what you need to do in your life, right? Particularly if lots of people, including adult children who want you to possibly babysit or, you know, distractions from others that, you know, that want you to do things for them because naturally you're a giver, Aquarius, right? You rarely say no to people and you need to because there's things you need to accomplish and some of you need to do a little bit of healing or you're on a healing journey you're coming out the other side but that's important to you yeah yeah because you need to come into a place of peace well there is peace returning to your world all right let's have a look at you getting your glow up on mm -hmm. overcoming this disappointment in the past trust in yourself more yeah, Spirit's saying to trust your inner wisdom. There's an owl there. See the truth about situations. Don't sugarcoat them. People have been, um, you know, acted in a way that has been deceptive, um, have hurt you in some way. Then see, see them how they truly are standing before you. Don't see the potential in them and don't see the best in them because they haven't shown up in the best light. Mm -hmm. Then decide what you're going to do with that energy. Your children may need extra support and attention at this time. And you need to get yourself outside in nature just to free up your spirit a bit. All right, let's have a look at this side where all these blessings want to come in, mostly related to a contract, love, miracles. Mm. Another message to get out in nature. Your bodies of water. It'll be very soothing on your energy. You might want to meditate out there. Yeah, you've got Diana focused intent. You really need to focus on what you want to create and take the steps you're guided to take. And be compassionate with others and yourself, but I'm going to say mostly yourself. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Crystal Healing Deck. Having a look at this top row, which is all about your destiny. <laughs> Spirit saying love's coming in. Oh, you're divinely protected. Oh, listen to your dreams, Spirit saying. You may get subliminal messages in your dreams about your path. Yeah, wow. Wow. You've pulled heart healing and you pulled emotional healing. So you've definitely been through something significant, my loves. Someone's been quite hurtful or a situation's been quite hurtful. Any other guidance there? Mm, you need to really ground your energy at this time. So you can hold your centre. Very important. All right, let's have a look at the centre line here, which is all about your personal healing journey, setting boundaries with others, coming back into a place of peace. Yeah, you've got a master teacher card here. It's all about you connecting to spirit and your spiritual side. It's going to be very helpful. Some of you need to, whatever you want to do in your life paths directly related to your inner child, your sense of creativity, your sense of fun. Um, I don't feel like you need to heal the inner child. I feel like whatever's gone on has happened in some sort of adult relationship to you in the now, right? It's not from the past as in from family or generational or karmic. It's something that's physically happened in recently in the last three to six months, mostly in the last three months, yeah? Spirit saying music would be very soothing on your energies right now. Listening to music, guided meditation, sound therapy, playing music. Mm, you got past life coming out. So more connectedness to your past lives, your past life gifts and talents. Watch the lunar cycles. They may significantly affect your energy. Watch the super moon on the 31st of August, my loves. Batten down the hatches, darling. She may feel overly emotional. Mm. So the moon's going to be very close to the earth. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Spirit saying guided meditations would be very good for you. I'll link in the guided meditation playlist on my channel. Pick some that are very soothing for you. Uh, any by Kenneth Serez, Lisa Watley, Dakota Walker that are in there. Uh, all you have to do is lay down, get comfy, warm, listen to them through a speaker, go to sleep if you want to. It'll still work. Just relax. None of this cross-legged stuff, darling, is way too hard. Mm -hmm. 
I did it with my pooches the other night and we had candles going and they just go into the most deepest state of relaxation and they snore. You literally can't move a pooch after they've gone and done um, any kind of sound therapy, right? They just, their bodies become so heavy, like us as humans. Works on cats as well if you want to try it out. Mm -hmm. Spirit saying to know your fears. It's directly related to your destiny. It's directly related to true love coming into your life. It's also related to you doing the healing work you need to do around your heart. Mm -hmm. Emotional healing. Ooh, and see the signs. Spirit's going to be letting you know that they're with you the whole time. Symbols, synchronicity, animal spirit guides, numbers, absolute time to seek your destiny. Um, another confirmation of that. And you've got need and necessity. So this is related to your finances. So just focusing on like creating a budget, like what do I need to cover my expenses from one month to the next, particularly if you're trying to create a new pathway in your life. Um, not overspending, not putting big pressure on yourself from big material things in your life, yeah, which is going to help take the burden and the pressure off self. All right, let's pull your message from your angels. Oh, here we go. The unknown goes hand in hand with do not fear the unknown. Well, know your fears. Do not fear the unknown. It is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. It's kind of resonating really strongly there. For those of you that have come out of a relationship and you've been in a long-term relationship for a while, do not fear the unknown of getting into another one, right? You're going to be fine. <laughs> you are. You are. You are. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, here we go. Ideal course of action. There's a path unfolding. You're going to get a lot of clarity about where you're headed and the next steps on your path, your divine destiny. All right, let's pull you one from the Sacred Earth Oracle. Oh, it's a gorgeous birdie just singing to us from the garden then. Mm. Oh, wow. This is interesting. So you've pulled repetition. Again, we've got the lunar cycles happening. Oh, my God, darlings, watch that super moon. Um, in the corner of repetition is a woman that is feeling hopeless with her hands over her face. So this means that in your life you have been repeating patterns, karmic patterns, ways of relating to others, ways of behaving. For some of you, it's related to having weak boundaries with others because you've got the boundaries card here. For others, it can be related to your inner child. So whether it's um, you stepping into your strength and your authenticity about embracing what you're naturally gifted at and accepting those talents, it can be related to that. It can be related to people walking all over you and you um, not standing up for yourself when they do something that's, I'm going to say, terribly wrong deceptive not great right um holding on to people's energies long after the time you should have let them go and let them go on their own journey you're not supposed to take everyone with you on your journey that has been in your life that is you've ended a relationship with or a connection with but you're still they're holding on to your energy or you're still trying to be friendly with them right you don't need to do that because what happens is you then you then carry with you that whole time you've released a situation, you're still carrying the energy of that with you. Why would you want to do that? Because you're just making yourself heavier and heavier and heavier with energy that you need to release from self, right? Learn to cut cords and attachments from people and let them go on their own journey. Mm -hmm. that's, that's channeling through. There is repetitive cycles and ways of relating and behaving in your life that spirit saying big message is part of this healing journey is to stop repeating cycles in your life because they've given you a lesson over here that you haven't paid attention to previously and they've given you a bigger lesson because when that happens is they're trying to get your attention but they're putting it on loudspeaker. So pay attention and listen because you are at this pivotal point where You've gone through a lot of life lessons and you've learned a lot and things are trying to fall into place for you like a jigsaw puzzle. 
so that you can step into your strength, step into your glow, not dim your light anymore, not allow people to walk all over you with their negative energy, deceptive energy, bad behaviour, right? Um, because you deserve better. You deserve beautiful love. You deserve abundance in your life. You deserve to have a smoother, peaceful life. Mm -hmm. Time to break the patterning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, darlings, if you're unsure of what that is, do pop along and check out my recently released uh, ebook, which has got a lot around karmic patterning playing out, how to set healthy boundaries with people, why you struggle to set healthy boundaries with people. There's a lot more going on with that than you trying to help yourself do it, right? It can be deeply ingrained as being very fearful of setting healthy boundaries with people, and there's specific reasons why. Uh, the book is titled Why Do I Keep Attracting Narcissist and Narcissistic People in My Life? Um, and certainly while there's a focus on it being about love relationships, there's a whole lot in there about family and friendships and attracting the same kind of energies in those spaces, yeah, and karmic pattern playing out. So if you feel that that's a value, go and check it out. I'll put the link on here. All right, let's pull you some guidance in terms of your crowning energy from the Pegasus Oracle. Oh, not surprised you pulled this one. This is all about to help. This is about a healing message to help you heal. You've pulled the white Pegasus of the sacred waterfall. So it's got water pouring all through him. So when that happens, there's a cleanse that needs to happen. Yeah, or washing out of all the impurities within self so that you are cleansed and free. Number eight represents infinity. Let's pull you up the message. It says, my loves, release all that has been and be ready to be freed from attachments to the past. Otherwise, those attachments may restrict your present moment choices and unduly limit your future fulfillment. You've been offered this spiritual gift of inner cleansing as an opportunity to clear your body, your mind and heart. To let go takes courage as well as trust that what is rightfully belongs in your world shall be preserved and what is divinely destined for your heart shall come to you. Releasing the fear of letting go may first require you to heal painful experiences of feeling denied, deprived, thwarted or abandoned in this or other lifetimes. You can then trust all that flows into your life. This healing will help create positive expectations of being loved and of receiving generous blessings, especially in the areas of your life where you felt the most challenged. To trust in your path and to accept what is divinely destined for you, one must become willing to let go and be moved when the time comes. No matter how much you have suffered or how stuck you may feel, great clearing and healing is possible for you. This offering can wash away all that has been in a waterfall of white light. If you allow for it, you shall completely overcome your past and rightfully claim a fresh new beginning, sealed and protected by loving spiritual grace. This is your time. Right, there's an affirmation here. I think it's super important. Yeah. It says, Beloved Spirit Guardian Pegasus, Thank you for helping me connect to the courage that empowers me to let go and trust wholeheartedly in the goodness, the generosity and grace that wishes to manifest for my complete happiness and the spiritual benefit of all beings. Oh, definitely clearance that needs to happen, my loves. Mm -hmm. All right, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below on how this reading resonated with you. Do reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need extra guidance and support at this time. I will put the booking link on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.